Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I use Lawrence Anthony's and Kong software in teaching corpus linguistics to students. So this is a little video demonstrating how you can use uh, wildcard settings and in producing concordances. Um, there's another video that tells you how to do a concordance just for a particular word form without any kind of wildcards. This particular video focuses on the use of wildcards. So the first thing um, for this particular demonstration, I assume that you've already loaded a corpus and you've made um, produced a word list as well. In my case, this corpus consists of 15 um, pre-election speeches by um, Barack Obama. So let's look at those wildcard settings. You find them under the global settings and the wildcard settings. So here you can see what each of the wildcards stands for, the star, the plus sign, the question mark, at sign, hashtag, and so on. And um, we will just apply them and see um, what actually happens. So let's look at the star first. So if I um, go and um, try and find a, the concordances for hope with the star, um, what we can see here, um, and I'm going to sort this according to the, um, the word. What you can see is that it gives us um, the instances for hope and then also instances for hopeful, hopefully in hopes. Um, because the star, um, remember, stands for zero or more characters. So basically words starting with hope. Um, now if I actually go and um, do it just for HOP followed by the star, and again um, sort this we can see that again it gives us hope um, and then it also gives us here hopeful hopefully again hopes but additionally it also gives us hoping of course so the star symbol can be quite useful um, sometimes particularly when you're interested in exploring semantically related words or word forms of a lemma so how is the, um, how's the plus sign different from that? The, pl the plus sign stands only for zero or one character. So here, for example, if I use hope again and the plus sign, it should only give me occurrences of hope and occurrences of hope plus one character. So again, I'm going to sort this. So we can see here the output is hope as well as hopes. Now, theoretically, this should also find hoped, but I assume that this doesn't occur in the corpus. But it doesn't find hopeful, for example, because that would include more than one character. Let's look at the next um, wildcard, the question mark, that stands for any one character. So here I'm going to use um, M question mark N. and again sorting according to the word so that finds of instances both of man and of men because the question mark stands for any one character in this case man and men so again sometimes you might use this to explore um, uh, semantic related words or word forms of a lemma the next global setting to explore is the at sign, um, that stands for zero or one word. So what I'm going to look at first would be looking at women, men. So women followed by either zero or one word and then men. So what you can actually see is that there are no hits, I'll do that again. No hits, so that doesn't actually occur. If I do it the other way around. you can see that that is the usual way in which we refer to both men and women, men and women, rather than women and men. But you can also see that there are no occurrences where they, um, where it's men, women, without any kind of conjunction in between. So that's the at sign. The next wildcard is the um, hashtag, or the hash. So um, this is quite useful for exploring um, n-grams or p-frames. So if I um, use the hash off and click start, 
it finds all kinds of um, three grams that have the um, a word and then off. Now if I actually sort that according to uh, 1R um, you can see the uh, patterns emerging here so the beginning of um, the blood of the coarse off, the darkest off and so on. So this is quite useful for exploring um, n-grams or p-frames. So the final, um, the final wildcard setting is this, and that lets you search for um, one particular search term or another search term. So here I will use again men and women. So you can see um, here again I will sort this according to the word. So it just finds you instances of men and it finds you instances of women. So these global settings, um, these wildcard um, settings here are really, um, really useful to keep in mind that you can actually vary the kinds of searches that you do and the kinds of concordances that you produce. And it's, it's very useful to actually just try out these wildcards and, and see what you can do with them and the kinds of uh, variation that you can find, the kinds of searches that you can do even without using for example a lemmatized list or without being able to uh, look at p-frames um, and so on. So p-frames are n-grams that, um, that have, a, um, have a slot that can be filled. So for example a 3-gram would be the end of and uh, the corresponding p-frame would be the nothing off. So whether nothing can, you know, you can have any word in, in that particular sl slot. So, so these wildcard settings are, are very useful to look at and to consider when doing um, concordance analysis.